Hey G-Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode with this cool amazing part right here in my hand, if you can see Basically what it is, is a pull-up bar and it's not like the regular one that you can just hang on top of like a wall This one actually can go between the walls of like your door frame and everything so that's definitely really awesome But first thing first, let me actually open up the product to show you guys what is inside the package first So when you guys first open the product itself, this is what it looks like right here So they have a little protective layer right here and then you guys can see the actual uh, pull-up bar inside right there. Let's take it out first. So it's pretty like stuck in there. So you guys need to use a little bit of strength to like pull it out. Or if you guys want to make it easier for yourself, just break the whole entire box down and just take it out like that. But I want to do it this way so that way I can reuse the box if I want to. Alright, so this is basically what the product looks like right here. They also do provide you guys to use a manual and a little wrench right here or screw that you can use to screw it on or unscrew anything on the actual product itself which I'll show you guys where to use this in a second but they do provide you guys to use a manual right here as well to show you guys how to set it up and how to use it correctly If you look at the manual right here, they mention about the actual product itself how it's non-slip, anti-lose and automatic locking once you guys set it up correctly Alright, so once we open up, this is basically what it looks like right here so they have the anti-skip material on both sides right here and also on this side as well so that way it can hold on to the wall and it won't fall off if you guys do it correctly and screw it on correctly They do have the very nice grip right here so you can actually do the pull up or whatever on here What's really cool about this product is the fact that you can use it for a pull up bar, a push up bar and also a sit up bar as well So you can basically do a lot of stuff on here which is pretty awesome And if you guys look at right here they actually have a lock part right here that can actually lock it onto the um, bar itself so that way it won't move around So they have it right here But they also have it on the other side as well right here So that way you can lock it in place And won't move around when you guys are not using it And then the way how you guys uh, mount it onto the wall is just by turning it like this Or you can just put it onto the wall and then start turning it like this To kind of loosen it or tighten it And if you guys wondering what this tool is for Basically, I can use this to unscrew this part right here to make it loose So that way you can lock it back in here when you guys are not using it And then when you guys are using it, you guys don't need to put it all the way in And then if you guys want to unscrew any parts like this part right here and here You guys can use the little screw that they provide you right here And if you guys look at the inside of the actual mount right here They have the anti-skid material inside built in right here So that way once you guys are mounted onto the wall It won't get loose or it won't like slid off and anything And one thing I want to let you guys know is that once you guys set up the bar correctly you guys want to set the bar for like if you guys are facing this way You guys don't want the bar to be able to like go this way like that when you guys are doing pull up Because that way it will loosen it So you guys want to make sure that when you guys set up the bar It should be only be able to turn out that way So that way it won't get loose and it's like really really tight So that's basically everything that's on our product itself Let me actually go try this out and show you guys how to set up real quick And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second So once you guys unscrew the part that I just showed you guys And you guys can put it onto the wall like this You guys can just turn it on one direction like this and make sure that the direction that you guys are going to be using it on For example, if I'm going this way, you guys don't want this to go this way to turn the actual bar itself Because if you guys turn this way, it's going to loosen it Right now, turning this way is going to be tightening it Just slowly do it, don't do it too fast because it might crack the wall Just do it just enough so that way it's like really tight and secured So that way yeah, once you guys are using the bar, it won't fall down when you guys are using it Alright, so as you see it's pretty secured Make sure it's secured for it before you do guys do anything Alright, so I'm going to try to do a quick pull up to show you guys when it actually works Alright, so it's pretty secured. And then once you guys are done using it, just unscrew it like this. Alright, and you guys are all set. Alright, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw a quick test of the product itself. You guys can see it actually does work and works quite well. Uh, super easy to kind of like assemble it and it doesn't damage the wall as a first hand perspective. I'm not too sure will this actually damage the wall as you guys use it more and more and whether or not it should get loose over time I'll definitely have to test it a few more times and really try it out and then see how it works over time but definitely as a first hand perspective of actually trying it out and everything it works really really well and it's super easy to kind of assemble and everything so now that we do unboxing and testing the product itself now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not so for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want one and need one of these. Especially for those guys who are trying to look for like a pull-up bar and you guys can't use the one where it like hangs underneath the door on the other side. This one is a really good alternative so that way you can just stick onto like the side of the door frame to actually use the pull-up bar instead of using that. So this is definitely a lot more portable and easier to use and the setup process is kind of easy as well if you guys saw from the test. 